Okay, we are out with the 24 to 70, which is arguably one of the most versatile lenses that you can have in your kit bag because you can obviously shoot nice and wide on full frame at 24 and nice and punched in at 70 mil to give you that nice compression. I'm kind of liking this shadow area here. Um, if you want the alternative for an APS-C lens, you're looking at like an 18 to 105 equivalent. There's a Vespa kind of just in front of me here and it might be a nice little just beginning shot, trying to get my eye in, wait for this person to walk through the fray. I'm not overly keen with that. Maybe a landscape shot. And this is only just to get started. We've got a nice, it's okay. Thank you. Got a nice long video right. today. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah. And I just want somebody to walk through on the other side. I'll position them just on the right hand side of the frame. That'll do. It's, it's just a starting shot. It's okay. It's, you know, nothing special. And we're just going to walk down around the streets of Melbourne and see what we can find. I'm on a street, which is actually a dead end, but I like the, I like the harsh light coming through. And you kind of like have these older buildings with the newer one in the background. So, I mean, you can assume somebody in that kind of like walking through that frame, um, but it's very unlikely because it's a dead end. So nobody is actually going to be walking through there. Before we continue, I want to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Back in 2020, I was trying to create a website to promote my preset packs and my hoodies, and I couldn't find an easy to use platform until I found Squarespace. Squarespace had these templates that I could literally just click, change the information, and I was ready to go. Within one day, I went from not having any portfolio, not having any digital products, not having any physical products, to having everything by the end of the day up and running and making sales. And it is literally that simple. And if you'd like to get involved, you can use the link in the description to go and set up your website today. Nice uh, compression shot down here. These people down the end. Ooh, nearly worked. Let's see if I can get the shot before the truck comes. That was quite nice. The guy in the frame. I do like the 70 mil because it's it gives that nice compression um, with the background. There's a shot that I was thinking here. Maybe when people are crossing the road, it might look quite nice. Um, 70 mil with the tram down there might look pretty good. Nah, below par. But I might be able to get a nice 70 mil shot from behind it. How long have I got? Uh, the next tram is not for a while. Very simple shot, but how can we make it better? Maybe if I get down and get a shot like this. Not that I can see the screen because of the glare. But yeah, it'll do. Today it doesn't matter, I'm not trying to get like perfect shots throughout today, it's just about being out in the sun, capturing photos as I go and some are going to look better than the other ones and some will look shit. That's uh, that's just part of going out and doing streets. What have I got all over my lens? There is a pure go for the frame here. Just kind of as I uh, enter the light. There was a dude in the suit that I wanted to, uh, to capture but I missed him, I was too slow. Um, but there will be another opportunity and I'm just thinking I can maybe use this, this somehow. Pretty sick. Let's jump behind this tram and get a 70 mil shot. Okay, I mean, yeah, sick. Moving on. Sometimes you take shots like that where you're like, you're like super stoked about it. You're like, oh my God, yeah, it's such a sick shot. And then there's other times you'll take a shot like that where you're like, hmm, yeah, that was a waste of a, a press of a button. But yeah, you have to take the bad photos to find the good ones, so. And I guess that's just part of being a creator. Sometimes you have to take the bad shots to find the good shots. For example, we have a nice little puddle here. Is there anything we can do with that? 
maybe towards the trams. I don't know if it will reach that low. No, but what I can do is I can get it so when somebody goes through the frame, I could just capture them in the bottle, which would be quite a sick shot. Um, but it's going to be a very specific shot waiting for somebody to walk through this exact frame. Um, but we shall wait. There is a tram going through. Nah, the tram doesn't work. focus through the puddle i'm just thinking maybe i can just get a really like simple shot is this one going for the frame am i gonna get the cyclist i think i did i think it's it's usable all right we'll move on um but the idea with puddles is that you have if you haven't watched any of my videos before the idea is with the puddles is you put it in manual focus you pull focus through the puddle to the subject you want to shoot um, and it gives us a nice really cool perspective on the other side there's a dude smoking i'm going to do a longer shutter let's go tenth of a second iso 50 f16 70 mil gonna focus on the dude put it into manual focus so then when the trams go through the frame the dude should stay in focus well that's the idea if he stays where he is and doesn't move, but Sod's Law will say he will move. If you don't know what Sod's Law is, Sod's Law is where the opposite happens to what you want. And it's just how it happens sometimes. It's kind of just life. Trams are on the move. Locked focus on the dude. Hold down the shutter. Hoping he stays still for one of those shots. This tram is probably going to be better because of the style. And that stopped too soon. Idea worked out well. It's a nice little technique that you can use. Uh, that was tenth of a second F16 ISO 50. The motion of the tram obviously is like a longer exposure, kind of like trail, uh, and then the subject is staying still, so it gives you this nice uh, creative perspective. 70 mil, still in manual focus, which is fantastic. I think as she goes to take a drag is what kind of want here obviously there's somebody behind it as the the shot came about but let's uh i think it'll do actually that's a it's a decent street shot we'll uh we'll move on continue going up this way the delivery do go through the frame as well as the van i don't know if i got that in time because the van kind of blocked the frame make it down lower 35 mil and wait for a, a single subject on the other side. Dude walking past on his own. I think I could probably track him actually. I don't know if that worked tracking him. It kind of made the shot worse. What else is going on? It's pretty cool street. I kind of like how this uh, the shadow is going through this set of boarded up windows. The thing I love about walking out and just doing content is that you stumble upon like really sick finds like this. Look at this. City, Chinatown. Right, I'm not gonna be long because I'm gonna spend too long up here, but nice shot just looking down on the on Chinatown. Somebody walking through the frame down there in the light. Kind of works it's a good spot maybe 70 mil in that pocket of light down there oh that's worked out nicely that has what a beautiful pocket of light sick oh i'm actually super stoked with that little bit of light thank you very much i mean while i am up here i just thought i'd quickly come over to the right hand side uh, to look down onto Chinatown a bit more um, to see if there's any any pockets of light that I could possibly shoot from this side. Uh, maybe over there. It's not a bad little shot looking down. You got one of the lanterns from Chinatown as well. 
anything worth shooting down that way? Not really. It's more of a good nighttime location. Pretty sick pool over there though, in that building. I don't know what building that is, but I wouldn't mind going for a swim right now because it's uh, it's toasty, nice and toasty. I think this up here is, is a hotel or part of a hotel, but it seems pretty empty. Um, so it has a lot of potential. Look at that view, very sick. Maybe it is a hotel, no idea. So I'm thinking there's a nice like pocket of light here that I might be able to use people walking in and out of. I'm just gonna wait for this car to go through the frame and hopefully I don't lose the sun because there are some clouds around. No, I want the sun, the back sun. So a nice neon sign here, we'll be able to get a nice kind of like shot. What I've done is I've pulled focus through there using manual focus. Uh, about 250 of a second f2.8 iso 250 there's somebody just on the bike actually i'm going to pull focus on them sick all right let's move on we'll continue going down this way okay so there's a shot behind me at 70 mil of uh, a lady in the, the cafe which looks quite sick let's see if i can pull focus i'm actually going to manual focus so i know that it's actually on focus on here and not the window That was nice actually because it had people in the foreground which obviously gave it that nice uh, nice depth and composition. Okay, so there's a shot down this street here. There's a dude all the way down there on his like phone in the light. At 70 mil though, it's not quite enough. So I'll give you a little tip. And a manual focus onto him so he's as focused as he possibly can be. Get the right settings. And then with the Sony's, and I don't know about other cameras, but you can go into 35 mil. So you can push it into, so it's like a crop sensor. So I've cropped it in. So this is now effectively 105 mil. So I can now get the shot that I want. And because it's manual focused, I can have people walking in the foreground and it's going to obviously stay focused on the subject that I want. And that, pretty sick I'll take that so why do I think the 2470 is one of the most versatile lens firstly you have that nice wide at 24 and then you obviously have the compression at 70 this isn't just for street photography but obviously portraits car photography landscape it ticks all the boxes which is why I highly recommend that you go out and buy a 24 to 70 it doesn't have to be a Sony it doesn't have to be G Master Sigma do a great one and there's alternatives from Tamron as well if you do want to, to have a look at this one, there's a link in the description along with the presets, the link in the description as well. With all that being said, we're gonna have a look at the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram, where you can show me the content you're creating and in turn inspire me and inspire others around the world. Okay, we are on the most recent, so we're gonna go down here. This one here is a nice kind of like symmetrical, simple shot. Um, and then we have a event photography here for like a, a band or something, which is pretty sick. Um, I like the colors in this one, which is really nice. Nice little set. And this one here, I love the black and white on the Porsche. That's really nice. And let's keep going down the signal. What is going on with the signal? Come on, load. Thank you. And we'll go with, we'll do like two or three more. We'll go with uh, this tram shot here. And we'll go with this nice simple little shot, which is kind of cinematic. And we'll do one more. Uh, we'll do the last one actually from the top page. Let's go. Oh, that's clean. Really clean. Really like that a lot. If you do want to get featured on this channel, you can use the hashtag optical wonder over on Instagram. Just throw it in your caption whenever you upload. With all that being said, create more, stress less, and I'll see you uh, see you in the next one.